Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be discussing on the key to fat loss. Now, firstly, let us understand this: that achieving fat loss is very, very easy, and it's very simple. Only if you understand the scientific approach towards it. So, the right approach is always required. and definitely the right approach is the scientific approach now suppose consider you are under the impression that you need to exercise to reduce your fat and real vigorous exercise so you are under the impression that you need to exercise to reduce your fat so consider a day a day consist of 24 hours and you spend around say maximum 2 hours for your exercise real hard vigorous exercise because you are under the impression that you will reduce your fat so you spend around 2 hours of the day in exercise so definitely when you exercise the need the demand for energy increases definitely your body requires more energy when you exercise therefore you start burning more amount of calories during your exercise because your body requires a lot of energy when you exercise but now let us understand what about the rest of the day now the rest of the day which consists of 22 hours your body requires energy even for the rest of the day for these 22 hours your body requires energy even when you are in the state of rest that is when you are sleeping definitely the need for energy the demand increases when you exercise therefore you burn a lot of calories but what about the rest of the day when you sleep yes your body is utilizing energy and it is utilizing the energy for the growth and repair of muscles so when you sleep your body is in the state of recovery it's preparing yourself for the next day also your job you work and your job may involve either physical activity or mental activity so your job may demand that you sit at your desk in front of your laptop for a very long period of time maybe 10 hours 11 hours of the day you are in the state of rest your job doesn't demand physical activity but your job does demand mental activity that means your brain mental activity your brain is working and for your brain to work it requires energy yes it does consume calories which is nothing but energy also if your job demands physical activity yes you are utilizing energy your body utilizes energy for digestion food that you eat how to utilize it your body requires energy for the digestion respiration so many things all of these activities throughout the day involves energy it requires energy now there are so many involuntary activities happening in our body which we are unaware of like digestion respiration growth and repair but yes the body does require energy even when we are in the state of rest even when you are sleeping even when you are relaxing you are not having physical activity but 
there are a lot of involuntary activities happening in your body so your body utilizes energy throughout the day so don't be under the impression that you need to only exercise to reduce fat because you're spending only 2 hours of the day in exercise no doubt you utilize a lot of energy but the rest of the day these 22 hours will define your fat loss how efficiently your body is utilizing energy in these 22 hours will define your fat loss so now exercise no doubt very good for the body exercise has a lot of benefits it has so many benefits like it improves your fitness it helps in your mental health because when you exercise your body releases good hormones the happy hormones and that is what keeps you in a good mood in a good spirit throughout the day also it helps in growth of your muscles it helps you improve your bone mineral density there are so many benefits of exercise it improves your fitness mental health growth of muscles your bone mineral density a lot a lot of benefits but do not exercise to reduce fat because you are never going to succeed let us understand why exercises should only be performed to improve your physical fitness but not with the impression that you're going to reduce fat your exercises your workouts should be enjoyed the key to fat loss there is only one key to fat loss and that is hormones hormones are the deciding factors for your fat gain and for your fat loss so you are under the impression that i lack motivation i'm not able to exercise i don't have time throughout the day i don't have self control um i feel hungry i get sugar cravings all of that now all these are the effects of imbalance of hormones it's not the cause the cause needs to be addressed and the cause is imbalance of hormones it is only because of hormones does a person lose fat and gains fat if you ask me the key to fat loss it's very simple it is glucagon let us understand with an example this is a suitcase and this suitcase it has a lock now you have to open the suitcase to remove the clothes from it to use the clothes how will you do it you require a key until you have the key or the code to open the suitcase you cannot open it and use the clothes from it now this is an example the same thing happens in the human body the suitcase is your fat storage fat is nothing but unused energy the stored form of energy so this is your suitcase and it has a lock and the key to open it is glucagon
when you get the key to open this lock you will be able to use your energy that's the fat and this glucagon is nothing but a hormone now when does this fat get locked and you don't get the key to open it it is because of insulin whenever there is elevated high level of insulin the fat in the body gets trapped it is locked completely and you can't utilize this fat so you need the key to open this lock and the key to it is glucagon hormone now let us understand with another example how these two hormones work in our body let us understand that how hormones are the deciding factors of fat gain and fat loss so hormones decide everything in our body everything is controlled by hormones they are chemical messengers that control the body now fat gain why does a person gain weight gain fat the reason is because there is an imbalance in hormones it's just like a weighing scale just similar to a weighing scale there is a lot of storage of fat unused energy so like this weighing scale this is on the heavier side and there is less utilization of fat fat is not being utilized and the main reason to this is insulin high levels of insulin high level of insulin is always promoting fat storage in the body now insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas beta cells of the pancreas it's an anabolic hormone which means that it always helps in fat storage it doesn't help in fat utilization so high levels of insulin always promotes fat storage now there's another hormone that acts exactly opposite to insulin and that hormone is glucagon so whenever there is low level of glucagon there is always fat is not being utilized high level of insulin low level of glucagon the person is gaining weight gaining fat just like this weighing scale deposition of fat high level of insulin fat getting trapped low level of glucagon now to approach fat loss you need the key and the only key is reversing this the exact reverse is fat getting utilized and that can be done by decreasing the level of insulin so when you decrease the level of insulin there is fat utilization because there is high level of glucagon whenever there is high level of glucagon there is fat utilization and the fat storage is very minimal where there is insulin is in moderation so the only approach to fat loss which is very very easy and simple is only balance of hormones decrease the level of insulin you don't want elevated level of insulin bring it to moderation when there is activity of glucagon when there is activity of glucagon there is always fat being utilized this is how the 22 hours of your day 
the rest of your day you can use the surplus amount of storage of energy throughout the day maybe if you're relaxing you're sleeping you're working on your desk in front of the laptop your brain is utilizing energy and it will utilize this stored form of energy so exercise or eating less there are so many myths surrounding fat loss all these are not the right approach the only right approach is the scientific approach which is balancing of hormones so to sum it up the key the only key to fat loss is balance of hormones balance in the major hormones insulin and glucagon so a person will be willing a person does have motivation has willpa but he or she their hormones will never let them make decisions the person is willing no doubt but the hormones are the major contributing factors the hormones make decisions in our body and when this is addressed through a scientific approach definitely fat loss becomes very very easy